In this tutorial we will create a mechanum wheel robot in Isaac Sim. Mechanum wheels are often used in robots that are required to do omnidirectional movement. We previously looked into omni wheels, but geometrically, mechanum wheels are much more complicated. Let's see from mechanum wheel theory. The essence of mechanum wheel lies in its rollers. Equation of roller shape is described by this equation. Here, this distance between wheel axis and roller axis. Delta is roller axis skew angle. R is distance between wheel axis and ground plane. U is angle between the normal vector to the plane of the roller axis and point on the meridian curve. For more details, see this paper. Here we will not go deep into it because almost all viewers are interested in actual implementation of mechanum wheels rather than pure theory. But for those who are interested in theory of mechanum wheel, I pasted link to this paper in the description. Anyway, the important thing is that using this formula, we can calculate profile of a roller. This formula is coded in this script. Later, we will use this script to generate a roller profile which we will use in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's see how wheel rotation direction affects car moving direction. It is easy to understand if we decompose the force in X and Y directions. For example, if all wheels are rotating forward, X direction force component cancel each other out. So, the car moves in the Y direction. If wheels are rotating in these directions, Y direction force component cancels each other out. So, the car moves in the X direction. If the wheels on the right and left side are rotating in opposite directions, no force cancellation occurs. So, the car will rotate on the spot. In case of mechanum wheels, never input combination of rotations that will cancel out all forces. This will damage wheels or motor. Now let's create a model of a mechanum wheel. It is possible to create a model from scratch, but it will take time. So, we will use the model available on the internet. There is a page called GrabCAD. In the library, we can find models of various things. Search for mechanum wheel. There is a lot of nice models. This time we will use this model. Thanks to the author for this great work. Please download this file. We will use it later. In this tutorial, as a CAD, we will use SOLIDWORKS. You can buy SOLIDWORKS for makers on this page. Note that the 3D experience for Maker's version is required to install additional extensions that we will use later. To create a URDF file of Omni Wheel from a SOLIDWORKS model, we will use this extension. Installation is simple. Click on this link. Download this execute file. Double click on it and install this extension. Note that you have to install this extension after you install SOLIDWORKS. Let's confirm that the installation was successful. Open part design window. Move the cursor to the toolbar. We can confirm that export as URDF menu has been added to the menu. Now, let's see the OmniWheel model we have downloaded. We have one problem. If we draw a circle like this, we can see that wheel profile is not circle. This is fine for rendering, but for physical simulation this will cause bouncing and undesired behavior. So, we should fix this. Using the Python script I mentioned previously, generate a profile of the roller. Using the curve through XYZ points feature, import this curve. By moving this curve upwards or downwards, 
the just height of the roller so that the rollers will not touch each other. After adjustment, if we draw a circle, we can see that the profile of the wheel is almost circle. Also note that in the roller model, for URDF conversion we should create a coordinate system and a center line. Now we are going to create a URDF file. First, create a coordinate system at the origin of the wheel. Here we also specify direction of each axis. Note that direction of the axis depends on how you create your whole model, so the way I am doing it here is not the only right way. It is just so that in most of my models, Y axis is the wheel rotation axis, so I keep it this way. Also, create axes which we will use as reference axes for rollers. Now, from the Tools tab, select Export as URDF. First, we have to select a part associated with the base link. So, select this. The base link is connected to the wheel. It means that the base link has one child link. So, in this pull-down menu, select one. As soon as you select one, an empty link appears in the text box. Select this empty link. Name it wheel link. Name joint as wheel joint. As a reference coordinate system, select coordinate system 1 that we just have created. As an axis, select the wheel FLRR axis. Because the wheel rotates not for a limited number of times, as a joint type select continuous. There are 9 rollers attached to the wheel, so push here 9 times. Set up a roller just as we set up the wheel. After all rollers are configured, push on the Preview and Export button. If the parameters seem fine, click Next. We already have an SDL file of the wheel and rollers, so select Export URDF only and save the file. Now, let's see the code. Please download the Mechanum tutorial zip file and extract it to the home directory. This folder contains all files required to do the simulation. Open the Mechanum robot Zacro file. In this Zacro file, for roller origin and angles we use values from the URDF file we generated using SolidWorks. The reason we don't use this URDF file directly is because URDF contains all information in one file, so it is very long and difficult to maintain. But for Isaac Sim simulation, we have to use a URDF file. This URDF file was created from this Zacro file using these commands. Note that before executing these commands we should build packages in the Mechanum will workspace using the Colkin build command. Now let's set up our robot. Open Isaac Sim. Create the ground plane. Import the Mechanum robot URDF file. It is important to change links to movable base. There are several important things we should do. Modify the drive property of all wheel joints. Change damping to 1 and stiffness to 0. This will ensure smooth rotation of the wheels. Also, 
from all roller joints, delete the drive property. This is required because roller joints should rotate freely. No actuation is required. Also, change joint friction to 0.05. This prevents the rollers from rotating endlessly. Next, click on collisions of any roller link. Add collider property to it. Change the approximation method of the collider to SDF mesh. SDF mesh represents original shape of the roller in the best way. It will increase computation load, but should prevent bouncing of the robot. To operate the robot, a velocity controller on the graph should be created. I have already provided more detailed explanations in my previous tutorials, so please see them too. To operate the robot, first build packages in the Mechanum Tutorial workspace. Connect your joypad to the computer. Then, launch the Mechanum Control Launch Python script. Push the play button. By operating joysticks, you can control the robot.